The look of the Laos in the Yarrow Valley was a spectacular setting for Sunday's 19 Dirty Triathlon, as more than 130 triathletes tackled the cold, dark water, the technical mountain bike course and, if they had any strength left, a scenic run. Organiser Paul McGreal had some pointers. There's ways round to left and right, not a problem, but just be aware that you'll be coming down that descent at speed uh, and you may well hit those water bars. There's a ford at the bottom of that as well. There's a bridge for the wussies, but I don't really expect to see anybody taking the bridge option. It is the dirty triathlon after all. As they dipped tentative toes into the water, fellow competitor Penny Shot treated them to a squirrel. First to start were the ones who signed up to do all stages twice over, starting with a 1.5 pace win. The southern Sally Gillespie was taking part in the so-called sprint category. Just the 750 metre swim, the 15 kilometre bike and the 5 kilometre trail run. For one competitor though, it was over all too soon, at least he got a toll back to shore. Soon enough, despite being knocked off course by the strong winds, the first of the two lappers made their turns. They were quickly followed by the first of the sprinters leaving the lock behind. Our Sally came out middle of the field, a great effort. It's fair to say that the time spent in transition varied greatly between the athletes. But as the first of the sprint cyclists came in, Selbert's Kevin Murray was in the lead. The technical course was obviously to his tastes. Although he lost some time in the second transition, Murray was still in with a shout of winning his first off-road event. Well done. The other cyclists all had their own way of dealing with the splash route. Some straddled their bikes. Others simply went for it. The other option, of course, was just to get off. Selkirk man Murray managed to hold on to his second place in the run. Oh, it was pretty good, pretty good. I wasn't uh, feeling so good in the water though because it was pretty cold. It looks uh, it, yeah. And I don't really, uh, I don't really swim crawl, so I had to breaststroke as best I could. And uh, I do a lot of cycling, so the cycling is going to be my strong point. And I made a few places there. I uh, just kind of held on in the run, and I got second. I'm pretty chuffed. Excellent. So, is this uh, how, how many trial things like this have you done? Uh, this is my first one, so there's not many of them around. But I think there should be more because it's a really good event. Crack and setting. Uh, well, certainly very good setting, isn't it? It's just amazing. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, no rain as yet. I take it you're friends with uh, with Paul McGill, the organizer, yeah. Are you still friends with him? I think so. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure after the swim, though. <laughs> He's getting called a few names, and the folk are coming back in the bikes. <laughs> no, I did do some papers on the bike, so he knows the kind of things I like. So there's most of that in the course, so it's, uh, it was good for me. Okay, well done. Thanks so much, Kim. Thank you. Cheers. I asked organiser Paul McGreal how things have gone. Uh, superbly, I mean absolutely fantastically, I mean exceeded our expectations from, from the moment we opened entries really, so loads of folks have turned up, 
the weather's held up, ugh, the location is spectacular. People seem to be enjoying themselves, so yeah, we're having a good day. There's some impressive looking uh, racing going on there today as well. Uh, there's a few decent, tasty athletes here. Yeah, the guy who's uh, the guy who's won the, the sprint race, Martin, is, is well known, he's decent. So it's attracted a good crowd, I mean, you know, from the, the, the speed freaks at the front of the field. All the way through to the kind of the newcomers to triathlon, which was always the intention of this event, was to try and you know provide a bit of a ladder for folks to, to, to come and try open water triathlon for the first time. So we've got them all from the very top to, to the newcomers. It looks quite a tough task though, especially going up the hill and the bikes are coming down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm being called a certain names by a few people who are finishing here. I mean, the, the swim started tough because it's uh, it's fairly windy here this morning, so you do get thrown around quite a bit when you're in the water. Uh, and it's reasonably cold in here, it's not too bad, but it's reasonably cold. And the bike course is tough, there's no two ways about it. It's a proper mountain biking course, and it's an off-road triathlon. There was no point in doing things by halves. No one could have accused him of that. This is Kevin Yanyak for the southernreporter.co.uk.